good afternoon everyone this is Chrissy and welcome to my channel thank you for joining me today um, I have finished my Roxy's Journal of Stitchery March project yeah yes I know we're only into the second week of it but I got so um, I don't know I was obsessed with this so I just was enjoying working on it so I, I just worked on it until I had finished it so this is uh, my husif. Um I've been doing a little bit of research onto um, the pronunciation of the word um, it can be spelt in different ways as well I think it can be H U double -S, S I F Hosif or H U S W I F Hoswif. So well that's my take on it anyway. So I've always called it a, a Hasif or Hosif, so that's what I'm going to call it. Um I knew that I wanted to make mine to have a really lived in sort of old old you know old look about it so this is what I've come up with so I, I'd like to um, show you I made it from this is actually I had no um, difficulty in deciding that this is what I wanted to make it from and it was an old tablecloth um, I've used it uh, just about the whole thing up now I haven't got very much left of it but it was white like this and um, although I did like it white I I did want it to have a old look to it so I um, tea dyed it once I made it and uh, I'm really loving how the color has taken um, I dried it off I painted with a paintbrush I painted the tea dye onto it and um, then I dried it off a little bit with my hot um, gun dryer hot air dryer and then I put it in my clothes dryer so um, it's it's come up nice and sort of um, patchy which is just the way I wanted it to be so um, I made a twining closure for it and um, I also dyed that that silk um, some silk fabric that I had that I've used and I put that in the tea dye as well it was quite a weak mixture of tea dye I didn't want it to be are too dark so uh, let me just show you inside I really did enjoy making this and it's all uh, actually recycled fabric and um, the tablecloth in this I can't remember where I got that from I think it might have been the backing off a cushion or a pillow case but uh, it just seemed to work perfectly for it so anyway I'll unroll this and share it with you what I've done here um, these are pieces that were on the um, tablecloth and I've just cut them out and stitched them on like that this has a uh, the first pocket here and that is a wide pocket and I've just put some little old buttons in there and some old um, hooks and eyes and snap fasteners there I enjoyed filling it with things too this is just a little old silk thread spool here and in here I've made a little secret pocket I lift that uh, open that out and there's another little pocket in there so I've just put some more old thread in there and um, one of these lace bobbins and a little mother of pearl um, um, thread keeper so they all tuck away hiding in there I've sewn on some lovely old 
mother of pearl buttons here and this old laundry I think they're called laundry buttons and um, I just love the way they look on there uh, this is a piece a quilt from an old pillow case um, quilted this quilted piece here and I've stitched everything with a blanket stitch. I've gone around the whole thing with a blanket stitch. I did put some um, quilting inside of it so it's nice and sort of soft and squishy. This pocket I've stitched down the centre so that it's got two separate sides to it. And in this side I've uh, made a teensy tiny little... Um, needle book here love that and I've put my initials here from this um, you know the tape you can get and I was lucky enough to find one with my initials so I've put that there and on this side I've made a little scissor um, scissor keep and I've got these tiny little tiny little pair of scissors in there and I've just put that little leather um, sh um, sheath thing sheath thing on there to stop them from going through the end and again I've put my initials on there so that just tucks in there. I've stitched this little piece of um, tape measure tape on here. And then down the bottom here, I've made a um, pin cushion. And that's made out of the same... Um, um, of quilting is this up here and I've just pinned on some rusty pins and another one of those buttons some pins and I could actually put some more pins in that side which I think I will do just like that And I've put uh, just pinned on a needle thread there to that. She wants to keep turning over, so we'll just let it do that. Um, so yes, that's it. And that just um, I really love it, and I love the way it folds up. I've put my initials here. So I'm stitched on some more there um, and then it folds like that that piece comes around there and that one goes around like that and uh, It just ties like that. So yes, I had so much fun making that. As I said, I was a bit obsessed. I uh, started it and then I couldn't stop. And <laughs> so yes, I did get finished early. But thank you, Roxy ladies, for another fun uh, month. And uh, I just loved that. And I do have some other house of um, here that I've made in the past. Um, I don't know if you're interested in seeing those, but if you do, um, just leave me a comment below and I can show you those in another video. But um, for um, our challenge for the month, this was uh, this was mine. So thanks very much for joining me. Thanks for your lovely comments.
comments and um, for subscribing to my channel and I'll see you again. Bye now.